for I think that for a couple of minutes there, um, maybe more than a couple of minutes, I experienced uh, what it's like to be a goldfish in the fishbowl from the point of view of the of the goldfish. Uh, so. About half an hour into the EVA, 45 minutes maybe, uh, Chris and I were, were ahead on our task, so uh, we were starting our, our third task, and uh, I felt some water on the back of my head, and I realized that uh, it was cold water. It, 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 was a, it was not a normal feeling, so I, I, I told ground. Chris came, came by to, to, give a, to give it a look. He couldn't see anything. He took some pictures of it, but it wasn't until a couple of minutes later that we actually saw the water trickling in the front of the helmet, and then I felt it covering my ears. And uh, at that point, we called the Terminate for the EVA. I started going back to the airlock, and uh, um, the water kept trickling until it completely covered my eyes and my nose. Um, it was really hard to see. I, I couldn't hear anything. It was really hard to communicate. Uh, I, just, I went back using just, uh, um, uh, just memory, basically going back to the airlock until, until I found it and then uh, went inside and uh, Chris was there in, in, in split seconds to uh, come inside, close the, close the airlock and uh, repressurize. Karen was already there, ready to repressurize. Our Russian colleagues uh, were all there to help and they, as soon as the, uh, as the two compartments were equalized, uh, they doffed, uh, meaning they took off my helmet, uh, wiped my face from all the water, about uh, three, po three pounds of water, I would say, and, uh, and that was the end of it. Um, for me, the worst part, uh, as, as um, Chris mentioned, I was, I was miserable, but okay. Uh, it's just ima imagine walking around with your eyes closed in a fishbowl. Really, that, that, that's what was going on at the, at the, at the, pom at the mo moment. It's just a very uncomfortable feeling to, to be with your, uh, with your face underwater for all, the, uh, for all that time. Uh, but the reaction of the crew was outstanding, I think. The crew on the ground and the crew on board. Uh, Chris really supported me, and I was just uh, lucky to, uh, to be back inside in no time.